My name is Logan Ackerman. I've lived here my whole life in Rochester, Minnesota. And I live with my mom and dad, um, and also with my two chihuahuas. I also have an older brother and older sister. When I was younger, God kind of looked like Gandalf, or some ancient old bearded man, Gandalf Dumbledore, just some like kind of old guy who is wise. To me, God is now more than a human being. He's a being that the human mind can't comprehend, and he's everywhere. My mom likes to scrapbook a lot. My mom has a whole page dedicated to stuff that I said when I was little. And one of them is, Mom and Logan were walking down the hallway at church after choir practice when Mom asked Logan if he smelled the food that was being prepared in the kitchen. Logan sniffed the air and replied, No, I don't smell any food. I just smell God. So I guess even at a young age, I didn't picture God as a being, more kind of how I picture him now. Though I don't know what the smelling thing had to do with anything, but I was six at the time. Six-year-olds say weird things. My favorite way to pray is really when it's quiet, um, it's, you know, there's not music or any distractions going around, like, for example, outside, uh, where maybe you can hear, like, birds chirping, just natural sounds. Just kind of a place that's very peaceful and relaxing, like maybe a reading, really anywhere that there's no distractions. One of my favorite Bible verses is actually a really popular one. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Love is patient, love is kind. I see God present in my life. Well, actually, uh, one thing that um, I really felt close to God, and probably the closest I've ever felt, was uh, when I went to the Boundary Waters trip. Um, just because, like, it's so quiet there. It's <sighs> Boundary Waters is just such a cool place. You just, you, you're very unplugged. You really just forget about everything that's happening around you at home. It's just, it really is a place that I really felt connected to God. One way that I'm a gift to the church is I put a lot of time in the church. I help out with videos. Um, I'm in confirmation. I help my brother and uh, sister-in-law with uh, teaching uh, third and fifth graders. I also go on a lot of retreats, um, and the youth retreats, the youth activities and events. Um, but something that uh, maybe uh, I could really commit to the church um, is doing ASP. I really want to do ASP uh, before my senior year and really get the, to know the community a lot more in the church. Uh, not just the youth, but just uh, young and old. 